Welcome to Let's Talk Geek, episode 42, The Answer. Uh, if you don't know where that comes from, uh, we were going to be chatting to Corey about it just now. Uh, but with us today, we have Barry Reed. You can get hold of him at Bazarito. Back from Ghana. Yeah. Deepest, darkest Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> 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 we'll ask him a bit about oh, we'll just <laughs> chat about that later. Uh, we also have Stuart Allen. Uh, How's it? Stu ZA. Stu underscore ZA. ZA sorry. <laughs> uh, we have... Jan Vermeulen, uh, at Exel, uh, myself, Tim Hawk, which is at, under, at Tim underscore Hawk, and Corey Sherum. Uh, Welcome back, Corey. Evening. Thanks, guys. Twitter account? Uh, Corey206. Um, any websites or anything you want to mention? Uh, well, my blog, but there's nothing happening on it except the okay. Sharks the rugby scores and everything. <laughs> 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 I know, there's nothing really happening there. <laughs> nothing at all. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nothing oh. worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the Sharks are winning. <laughs> <laughs> No, but we won't talk about that because yeah. the Bulls suck. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a bad that game. Was I was sitting watching fault. it. I was Rev's sitting watching fault, it in anyway. my uh, in my hotel room in Ghana, yeah. uh. and I was like screaming at the TV. <laughs> and I was like, I was like looking around. I was like, I'm in Ghana. Nobody's listening to me. What am I screaming about? <laughs> uh, that's that's proper. That's proper. I mean, any sport if you'll enjoy, that's that's the way you need to watch it. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm the I'm the Sharks fan, but you know they were playing a, against yeah. a foreign team, so you got to support. Of the Bulls. course, and no, I've been here a while. Now, so are yeah. you being indoctrinated, Barry? Uh, I, 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 I said to myself, <laughs> I would never, ever, ever be a Bulls fan, and I'm not quite a Bulls well, fan, it's but it's gonna be worse soon. Oh, jeez, don't <laughs> even joke. I'll never, I'll never support the Aussies, never. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you said you'd never support the Bulls. <laughs> I did, They're I used to support foreign teams over the Bulls, so. but mind you, Barry had to go to Ghana to support the Bulls. <laughs> I mean, true, true. Yeah. All right, um, okay, let's get into our show for tonight. A uh, bit of a delays, but we, we're going now. Um, no one would know this if they're listening to the recorded <laughs> version. So oh maybe well. you don't need to apologize. <laughs> Sorry, you can just, you can just out edit out the <laughs> apology. <laughs> well, I'm going to out there. The apology's done for the guys listening. I paste the RSC links as usual, mm. which will be in the uh, show, notes. show notes. So cool. check them out. Cool. A lot of very cool things in there. Um, let's get to the first thing. Uh, Jan, you said uh, you noticed uh, Oprah... Uh, Chrome 10 got released today. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, not today, actually. Yesterday, and depending on which time zone you're in. Um, yeah, so Chrome 10 seems to be out. There's uh, there's quite a bit uh, going so on there. a couple changes there. Yeah, yeah. Far quicker. The JavaScript engines are better. Wh which will be interesting. Um, it's a bit sad that it hasn't been pushed out to Ubuntu yet, and I'm not going to go through the effort of not getting it through the repos. If it doesn't come through the repos... Aren't you running Chromium? I am running Chromium. It didn't okay. get updated. So um, I'm running it from the official uh, Ubuntu oh repos. Okay. okay. So I'm not running it from a PPA okay. or from Google. All right. I'm oh, running so it with, uh, Google's PPA and yeah. I'm also running the Chromium stable PPA. Yeah, I'm maybe I should do that then. That's so oh, you got it. So you got it today. Yeah. Okay. You messed with it. Well, I actually got it a while ago. Nothing changed today. Oh. Is a if I, I checked you before I came here. I, I'm running the Chromium 11.11 11 on a dev. Mm. And with the past week, I'm struggling with Shockwave. With it crashes the whole time. If you open up a second YouTube video, it crashes. Yeah, my, mine does that, and I'm running stable nine at the moment. Oh, okay. So I don't know when they introduced oh, this bug, but I uh, see it on problem. Windows as well. It does exact same thing yeah. on Windows. One question: is, Are you running a 64 bit 64 bit no. plugin oh. for Flash? No. no. How the hell do you install that? Uh, there's a RPM that you Ubuntu yes, it's, yeah. it's not 64 bit. It's 32 bit <coughs> that they just mine's 64. The well, you have to do there's some libraries you have to put in. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's all the 32 bit libs. It's part of the Ubuntu tweak. There's a 64 bit um, testing something. No, but is it 64 bit? It's actual 64. 64. Is it 64 compiled 64. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Compiled because I'm running 32 bit with all the the, the 32 bit libs, S no. and it's driving me nuts because either the video doesn't show up properly or it crashes oh. my browser the whole time. Oh. Okay, I must say since I've installed that. My all YouTube's everything else has been working and it's Great. been for months for yeah. the 64 uh, with the 64 bit, bit one. one. I've oh. had issues with 64 bits and I'm just running That's stock fine. Ubuntu and it's okay except for this bug that you're talking yeah. about now. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, maybe I'll just switch to 64 bit again. Okay, it's pretty cool. Well, that is the other reason why they must be reset. They've got the pawnage competition happening, I think. Pawnage. Today. Pwnage. Not pawnage. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got very excited there. <laughs> hey, I was going to whip out my note. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it. <laughs> 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 he was going to whip something up. I know, I heard that. <laughs> I was going to go. Corey. Corey, Corey, Corey. Anyway. <laughs> For the listeners, I'm on flu medication. <laughs> <laughs> and you're drinking. Uh, yes. I'm speaking about quickly. Corey, do you want to tell us why we call 42? Uh, why we call 42? The episode. Oh, uh, yeah. No, 42 comes from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, written by Douglas Adams. 
Um, it is the answer to the universe, life, and everything out there. It's the ultimate answer to the ultimate question. Question. But they don't know what the, the question, question is. is. There's a story about the <laughs> ultimate question uh, where um, w- w- Douglas Adams was talking to a friend of his and they're walking uh, uh, London or wherever. And Douglas was known for being very talkative and he could go on tangents when he talks and everything. So he's talking to his friend and he says he's found a question to the answer. And this friend was like, <sighs> you know, I've got to check the time. You know, I'm hungry. Let's just go have lunch and tell me about the thing later. So they had lunch and he totally forgot to ask him about what's the question. And then about two weeks later, Douglas died. <laughs> so Douglas had an idea about the question, which was going to fit into the, the next book. Oh, okay. But never got around. And never got enough. That guy was like, oh. It wasn't <laughs> with the seven times eight. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, knowing Douglas, it would have been something, something very ob. Uh, ob and boring. Because that's, that's where the whole 42 comes from. It's, it's a humorless, boring number. It says... He was just sitting and he thought it out. There's no Tibetan number sequence. There's <laughs> nothing about it. He sat and he thought, what's the most boring, boring number, number out there? And it came down to 42. <laughs> and now there's some interesting 42s if you look around and everything. It's well, yeah. Every, yeah. Num- every number has some interesting thing Of course. I mean, you can, you can pull out anything that you want. But you know what the problem is now with that, though? Now 42 is more interesting. Yes. Because of that. Well, it's interesting. Exactly. And now 17 is the most un- yeah. the boring number. Well, 17 is a prime, isn't it? I'm just and the name of a dude. I just came up with a random (laughs) number. (laughs) (laughs) You weren't supposed to quiz me on it. If you look in the the show notes on the link to the Wikipedia one, the 42 is like the second. uh, I don't know if I pronounce it right. The Scoptic number, where it's like the number which becomes out of primes and everything like that. It's also uh, the number that you get from a magic cube, uh, a cube made by three by three by three, and the the three by three by three cube has three by three three. Cubes in it and etc. Et oh, right. So, but it's, <laughs> it's so every, every number. Look, I remember you can, yeah. at one stage we were using um, we had, uh, random facts and we were going mm. to for each of the episode numbers. Um, and there was always something arbitrary yeah. or random, either date related or number yes. related about every single number. Oh, it's, and if you look at the, oh, there's an old meme about, uh, I think it's 27, where uh, people get an obsession about the number 27. Yes. They see 27 everywhere. Yeah. And I don't know what, what exactly it's called, but it's it's silly. I mean, it's... it's 27 yeah. a phobia. It's a, it's well, a what was that um, movie in the book? Yeah, there's, a, well. there's a movie one that I'd remembered about. It had... Uh, what's the comedian? Oh, Jim Carrey. Uh, uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey in it, yeah. But it wasn't, oh. c- it wasn't a comedy. It was no, a it was... Funny. Talking about numbers, oh. though, I saw something really interesting the other day uh, on How I Met Your Mother. Like, the show starts... And after a while, after the first, like, let's say two minutes, you start noticing numbers all over the place. And when you start following the numbers, Mm. every time the scene changed, something, like either a number on the calendar or a number on the computer screen or something, would count down. So it started off at, like, like 64, for instance. And on the last scene, whatever, it was zero. And it it was just something like, I, I, I don't know how I picked it up, but I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. And then... I saw it out of the corner of my eye again and it was a lower number wow. and I thought, hang on, and I rewound and I <laughs> followed it and it <laughs> and it went down. And it just brings you to think like how many series do you well, think do that yeah. that you don't not just I'm numbers, sure. I'm just it talking about all sorts of things. You saw the gorilla. You, you've seen yeah, that, that, that's the that thing, thing where they yeah, go through. Watch this basketball and count how many and count how many balls. balls okay, now at the end of it's like, did you notice anything odd? It's like did you see no, the gorilla? <laughs> Did you see the gorilla? <laughs> no. Have you seen that? Yeah, so yeah, it's it's the guy cool. walks past. And you go back and watch it, and he like what walks in slowly, he like waves <laughs> at you, and then he walks on by. Franco actually showed me uh, that. But there's, a, there's, a, there's quite a few uh, uh, series <coughs> and movies. If you watch it, there is you will see all, you'll see a reference to 42 in it. Where if you kind of, you always look, I'm not always looking forward, but it's, it's especially if you look like. Um, uh, ooh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah. And stuff like that. You'll Bang always Theory. like, oh, wait, there's a reference to it. Or yes. wait, there's mm. something to it. Mm. And uh, well, it's, it's become such a part of popular but culture. But it's a meme. You know, it's it's an absolute meme. It's you know what's funny? I've stopped Big Bang and like, that that looks familiar. You stop it and it's like yeah. some equations like, I recognize that. <laughs> 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 I, I, was watching, uh, I was watching another series. Sorry, now that we got onto series, I just have to tell <laughs> you this one because this is... This is one of the hardest cause stabs I've ever seen without a, a, an opposing company's advertising in a series. So I was watching um, uh, One Tree Hill, the latest episode of One Tree Hill. Yes, I still watch One Tree Hill. 
It's a legacy thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so they were it's sitting at this... basketball or something. They don't like. even play basketball anymore. Is it anymore. a chick series? Like, I don't know. Yeah, oh, it's a very chicky series. Uh, Dude, don't okay. get me started, but whatever. Uh, so okay. um, we, I'm sitting down watching this series, and they're all sitting down at this table, and they start talking, right? And he, he like, his phone rings, and he answers, and he's like, hello, 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 can you hear me? Oh, I'm just going to send an SMS or whatever. And he puts his phone down. And like the other character says, geez, have you been experiencing a lot of drop calls lately? And, I, and, and he's like, <laughs> no, yeah, I, I can't believe it. And the waiter comes up and he's like, what would you like to drink? And he was like, oh, I'd like a tea and tea. And dude, it was, <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, and if you, if you don't know about it a bit, you know, you would. But there was, I, I was expecting to then like the camera to twist and there'd be like a Verizon sign in the back or something. But there was nothing. Or T-Mobile. T-Mobile has been ragging or on AT&T. Or something, yeah. So yeah. I just thought that I, I had to mention that. Um, oh, I've man. just got the, the, the three other stuff to mention on the 42. Um, the Ryan Nebula. Yes. It's its name in the stars is called the M forty it's yeah. called M forty two. The Misa object M forty two. Um we've got uh, sorry, I've wrote this down. <laughs> you got no there's, there's a hell of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a yeah, there's an asteroid named uh, to Douglas Adams in like two thousand and four. Uh, DA forty two. And in uh, Douglas Adams was born on the 11th of March, 50, 1952. So it's almost his birthday. <laughs> died died 11 May 2001 on the treadmill. So don't Is exercise. So don't died? exercise, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, was, he was prone to, to, you know, laziness. And then he would just jump up and he would exercise himself basically to death. And, and that he overexerted himself on the treadmill. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's one of the stories. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. The next story we've got here is to do with fiber. Is that the one we're doing? Yeah. Well, we can do that. I have something to say mm. on that. Just remind me. Uh, I'm actually thinking. I just want to jump ahead actually to the other. The uh, while we're talking about Chrome, there was mm. a whole bunch of other things about browsers this week. Sure. So we'll just jump into. That. First of all, what's it? Let's find find the right link here to get the exact word. Friends don't let friends use Internet Explorer 6. six. I thought that is a cool Microsoft. Campaign. Yeah. I, I <laughs> said, that, that's oh. from Microsoft. Yeah, yeah it's cool. It's I think that yeah. is cool. Uh, uh. Microsoft is turning themselves around. As much as I still hate Microsoft, mm. you know, they are they are not the evilest anymore. They they, they had to reinvent themselves. And I mean, that's what they've done. Looking at what Apple did and Google did. They it's wonderful what competition does. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. They they actually, they, they went into the wrong market. They went into the PC hardware desktops and yeah. just Oh, the mobile, the yeah, mobile computing. Revolution happened, without <laughs> well, and but but like, the, the trick yeah. is, I mean, it's not like they didn't try. I mean, yeah. they had Winmo, oh, yeah. they released yeah. tablets like out the yin yang. Yeah. I mean, but they were all slates. They were all blip yeah. and yeah. stylus yeah. and all they kinds never of junk. It's like, do you remember Windows Mobile six point five? Yes, I oh, developed yeah. for many yeah. softwares for they that. They came way ahead. They brought it up. First one, look, it was glitchy as all, all hell. And it was bad. I had a couple of the phones. But they got I had it on my Samsung Ajax they, they, they or whatever. Black yeah. Stop. I just didn't care. Yeah. Mm. That's the point. Yeah. But speaking of reinventing, you see that, you know, with the Connect hack to get the open source drivers. Yeah. You remember we, t we spoke mm. about that a while ago? Yeah. They're now releasing a Windows SDK for it. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and drivers and, and, and everything. Like all the PR good. Yeah. Of course. Got, yeah. Yeah, like like Microsoft, the when, they okay. said when they hacked the Connect, the, the Microsoft came out like a week later. Oh, well done. You know, what, it, you know, what, you know what the funny thing yeah. is? You know who sponsored some of the, the prize money? Was one of the Microsoft engineers. Was it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's the thing. I mean, so that's, that's cool. very good. But a company like Microsoft, they, they exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. Like competition is competition. always... Now you've got competition. So when you mm. go to the guys, you know, you don't have the accountants going, well, don't compete with this because then you're going to close this revenue. Mm. It's like, well, if you don't, they're going to pick us in five years. And, and what's something. also helped this whole thing is the fact that, that consumer stuff is bleeding into enterprise stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, as uninteresting as enterprise stuff is generally for, for your average, I mean, who yeah. wants to read about, um, you know, the na latest Outlook, exchange like, connection. Yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> yeah, like all the, the, like the various HP enterprise software or the, or the Polycom. I don't even know if anybody's heard of Polycom stuff. But they make some fairly cool voice over IP, Skype-ish, but yeah. enterprise stuff, much mm. better... Well, I say this loosely, but I mean, much better quality of service. Where, but I but mean, most people feel that Skype's like quality QoS stuff, is hey. okay. Yeah, because it's those desk phones, phones with, stuff. with like high quality. Yeah. It's high quality. That's the yeah. point. It's mm. supposed to be for high quality okay. video conferencing and stuff. Cool. Isn't that, Microsoft isn't where they didn't. They're a big company. So they did something right through the years. So they have a massive amount of knowledge behind it. They, mm. they can actually d just need to reinvent. And, and just uh, what I would like to see is them get them away from the desktop 
you know, that Windows well, license you get. They're it. trying, hey. I mean, you see, they're pretty evil. Do you see how many open source? We hate big companies. Do you see how many open source projects they've got running in Sun? Microsoft. Yeah. I mean, you, you would never have seen that a couple of years ago. I'm just talking about Microsoft and yeah. their open source, source. projects. Well, that's yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so you've got a few guys. Yeah, that's another that's thing. A, that's yeah. a, yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. one yeah. side of the company doesn't have a clue what the other side is. That is the biggest so problem. So one side is you've got guys saying it's evil and it's a cancer on this. It's a yes. cancer on business mm. and they're going to mm. eradicate it. And then mm. on the other side, they're saying it's the greatest thing since last bread. Yeah. yeah. But if you look at and the contributing to projects and things. They're making a good start and they're making good progress forward. IE9. Uh, yeah. It's 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 not going a bad to browser. It's still pretty rubbish. I don't use it for spec. No, it's not it actually. Is. It still doesn't. It's like one the of the. Really isn't it? Well, it's from one of the best Microsoft ones, but it's nowhere even close to Firefox. 2. I I heard at one. No, I heard at one point it was the best. No, oh, you think about eight or nine? Nine. The the new beta one. Have a look at what it actually supports. Okay. Firefox two supported it. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, it's bad. It's I must the have best because Microsoft I thought it actually no. won on no. the oh, on the I know, I know, what's it the, uh, not the cyanide test. What's it called? The acid acid, acid, acid test. <laughs> no, but acid <laughs> three has been widely criticised. Hey, yeah, um, but no, yeah. this is not just acid tests. That's not just that. Um, have a look. We we spoke about it, man. Didn't yeah, we? No, no, it was um, some of the guys. Some like of the CSS stuff, but I, uh, look, all the stuff I read is it doesn't support some of the CSS stuff, but it's stuff that's not. Yeah. Hugely improved. It does do Canvas. No, it does do Canvas, yes, but um, there's a lot of things do it sockets. does. It does sockets. It does WebGL. No, it doesn't do sockets. The new Nun, yes, it, it does. It does do sockets. Does it does? It? No, yes. okay. Well, anyway, I will. Does WebGL? I does everything. That, I, just, yeah. I don't know about I'd WebGL. I'd love it to do yeah. the rounded corners on my CSS. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd love to do that. <laughs> WebGL, <laughs> Oprah released a, a statement Oprah. this week. Opera. Mm -hmm. Opera. Um, saying what did Oprah, Oprah have to say about this? What has <laughs> she got to do that with? Oh, come on. Everybody gets caught. Oprah is in everything. Have you looked underneath your seat? Are we Okay. Oprah is a... What have you left out? We received an, an email from Opera this week. Going, oh no, we've got this new browser. It's going to support the WebGL with 3D accelerators in uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac. Mm. Cool. Finally, one of these things is going to support Linux. And I read up. It's like it's 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 pretty cool. It's going to it's using OpenGL as its its thing. It's not using uh, web uh, what's it, the Microsoft DirectX DirectX or anything. So OpenGL said we'll port over to everything. So great. You've Click got on the link. Uh, um, and it's only got a Windows, Windows client. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> but WebGL is sub is supported in, in Firefox not, not with and Chrome. And not to use your your graphics card. So if you've got like a fancy uh, NVIDIA card, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, here we go. Um, some some tests here. Yeah. So HTML5 test, right? Um, IE9 scored 130 points. Firefox 4, 255. Firefox 5 point, uh, sorry, 3.5, two years ago, 142. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, yeah. so yeah. platform supported. IE9, Windows Vista 7. That's it. They don't support yeah. anything older. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Firefox, what about Windows what's Vista, what? Windows Vista 7, WinXP, Linux, Mac OS, and Android. Yeah, what, but Microsoft isn't going to build no, anything no, for that's anybody else. Saying, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mac, Mac one that everybody also... Safari, but that's uh, support on HTML5 Windows. HTML5 compatibility. Yeah, it's not support on Linux as well. HTML5 spec compatibility. IE9, 54%. Firefox 4, 88%. Yeah. Well, look, Firefox 4 and Chrome are still your best. Yeah. Call me a Mac yeah. fanboy, but I still say that uh, uh, Safari is yeah, one of Safari my best browsers. Kit, yeah, of course mm. it is. Yeah, it's, it's quite slow. It's Chrome though. and Just all the rest. Like personal I like experience. I haven't tested it. I don't know. I, I prefer it because I think it's faster. So but which one? Uh, Safari. Safari. Chrome's faster. Okay, I don't use Chrome on my uh, on my Mac. So no, no, everybody I know that's actually when they actually do the test, um, it Chrome beats. Okay, I, that's yeah. basically why I don't. Use I'm not Firefox saying it doesn't. Anymore. It's just um, um, I refuse like to use Firefox browser. anymore. It's Chrome is just okay. faster. Yeah. You said WebGL is going to be supported in IE9. Yeah. It's not, not natively. It's going to be a plugin. Oh yes, that's Web I think that's so right. things that's that are I not read. supported is yeah. WebGL, Web Workers, HTML5 Forms, JavaScript Strict Mode, CSS Transitions, uh, SVG filters. Uh, Still no SVG filters. No SVG filters. The oh, no. file API is not going to be supported. CSS oh, three sucks. gradients are not going to be supported. Uh, Drag and drop is okay. not going to be well, supported. No, no. You see, just <laughs> see. don't uh, let your yeah. friends use. Change. Yeah. Don't let your friends use Internet Explorer six to. Don't, don't let you your, your friends, friends use Internet, Internet Explorer. Explorer. <laughs> cool. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm not saying it's it's it. Mm. And even the article says it is the best Microsoft browser. No. Yeah. But it doesn't. It's made a lot of it doesn't hold a torch to the. Uh, the competition. You would think they would just go out with being Microsoft. They they've got loads of money behind them. You they would think 
they would just go out and poach a whole bunch of exactly. awesome browser well, developers and just say, come work for us and just implement easy. some standards. It all depends no, I know it's not just that not. easy, but... Sorry? I'm yeah, fairly they sure they want something want that's good enough. <laughs> but if your browser gets good enough and it's, it's so compliant, then first of all, why, why would you use... If, if browsers become good enough, the operating system almost eventually becomes indifferent. Yeah. Which yes. is not in the in, in their interest. No. Yeah. They want to keep on seeing an operating system. They want you to go out and pay your license for Microsoft and get your browser that works well enough mm. that you're not going to change it. Um, and it slows down uh, web development and all the rest of it. Well, look, eventually these things will have to. And just don't forget, IE is very tied into the OS itself, eh? Yeah. Very, yes. no, very, very tied so in. But not the new ones it's from what I've heard. No, the new ones. It's still very tied in. It's you can remove yes, it you completely. You can't remove it, man. This is what I'm saying. Yes, you can remove the IE app, but you can't remove the um, HTML rendering in your Explorer. Oh, no, no, no. That's all IE. Yeah. Yeah. You can't remove the, the way you use uh, to, to style some of the yeah. panels. But we've known stuff. that since six. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ever, it's, so you're not getting ever get rid of it. Yeah. The thing is, a lot of the stuff in Windows is built on, on Explorer technology. That's yeah, that's exactly yeah. what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So, I mean... Uh. Yeah, I mean, you're never gonna get it. So out. even even in Europe, where they have to, I mean, um, I think it's it's basically like through legislation. I basically, th your Windows comes up and it goes, which operating system do you want? And it's got like the three big ones and maybe Opera, I think. Which browser? No, it's got a couple actually. There's a couple. No, there's it's, it's eleven. It's random. It's eleven. It's eleven. It, 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 oh, is it eleven? It the order of what's the top. Yeah. But they say basically the the top ones, which is Opera, uh, Chrome, and Firefox, scored a lot. Opera, Opera. <laughs> Dude, uh, why? <laughs> in my head, it's Oprah. But, uh, <laughs> no, and and the rest of them actually got like maybe point something percent. Right? I will no, no, correct no, what, you what every I mean time is, on that. What yeah. I mean is, I is that Windows 7 or whatever boots up, there's no browser. And then it yes. comes up with a dialogue and it goes, yes. which, which browser did you, you like? would you yes. like? In Europe, so they do strip it out, it's but it's completely artificial. It's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is they basically it's removing like removing the icon. media player. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much yeah. what it is. You're They're removing the icon. Um, anyway, right. Firefox. Is, 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 uh, I'm sorry, is in a, you're talking about Europe, legislation and everything. I don't know if it's in the show notes. Did you uh, uh, see today on Twitter maybe when I was talking about this legislation in the EU coming up where uh, your browser's got a, a website has got to warn you, listen, we're we are running a cookie on this and we're doing this and this. What? They bring up this is massive legislation coming in to yeah. tell people, listen, we, we, yeah, we're mining your data. Long. No. There was some stuff on it. And what on sites don't use cookies anymore? Well, you have to no. use cookies. Exactly. Google yeah. Analytics, any analytical software, yeah. immediately yeah. there's a cookie involved. Anything that remembers where, the where, session. Where you've got session stuff. Well, so you could no. pass session variables around. Yeah, you could, oh, but then you would have to around, like, yeah. then you would have to make sure you log oh. in every time and all no, that no, kind of you stuff. Can, you can pass session variables around via mm. the URL. It's just so but secure. That's opening ends. it up for a replay attack. No, no. That's why you use Post. The thing is, they don't say you yeah. can't. You can't not. You cannot use. It's not that they can't use the cookies. It's just you got to warn the user. Say, listen, this is my cookie. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're oh, look, like we're in the terms um, and conditions. It's like a term and condition thing. But it's, it's, gonna it's not gonna pop up, but it's per website. Okay. Oh, well, okay. So, it's so it's not going to pop it's up it's though and I'll, say I'll like. The links. I saw this this afternoon. We just yeah. was going around. It's not really talking about it. Why not? For so every website, okay, you just have like a, like a site single map. website out there that will say we're using cookies. And what have you scored mm. then? No, but it's there's a what, okay, that's another thing. What about websites that are hosted, uh, European, that are hosted overseas? Not, not needed. So it's, it's only hosted, if it's hosted, hosted in, uh, in the okay. EU. So it's the same as like yeah. the so what gambling if stuff. So what I hosted a website in Europe on a European server? Uh, well, it's I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. It's not going to be enforceable. And pretty much, okay, yeah. let, let's say if we did enforce it, and on top of every yeah. single website on the internet now, there's a sun banner that says, okay, we have cookies. Yeah. What's yeah. changed? No, nothing's changed. No. Little cookie monster. Just uh, it it, it no. makes no real Did we need to start that, 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 that was that was that was you've got a cookie thing. on so your website. Saying, it's not going to do any cookie monster. monster. It's yeah. just going to, it's extra work now for the web developers. And well, some guys are just going to say, well, we're moving our hosting from EU to America. And so, as yeah. Al said, if anyone's doing bad things, would they really tell you about it? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also, but if every single website out there is saying you've got cookies, then... Yeah, but Tim, it's the same thing. It's like 
anything if you're not allowed to view underage under 18 content no you got to put a website you've got to put it there that says you're mm. running it. confess cookies and you've got yeah, but if you're running apache which means it, pretty much every single website Wait, in the world, the world no. will go at the top we have cookies <laughs> yes <laughs> which makes it pointless <laughs> well exactly. it's, just, it's just a lot of <laughs> noise how about yeah, it is, yeah. if it is you go onto the internet it's you're using cookies it's Maybe guys it's guys in the eu now you know top guys and the politicians just throwing mm. up things you know, regarding like wikileaks and you know the pirating and pirate yeah. bay and stuff they don't really have a clue anything and about. they have mm. no idea what yeah. they're saying that yeah. that's basically the way the that's way always what it boils down it's to it's good yeah. to, it's good to know that politicians doesn't matter where they are from in the world <laughs> <laughs> so what did they say rabble 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 <laughs> <laughs> cookies rabble 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 all right uh firefox 4 is also releasing demos mm-hmm Yes. Which were pretty cool. They you watched the 3D cool. ones. Uh, yes, I had a look. That was they very, very cool. cool. Um, and they will work on any browser that supports Sports that stuff. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, and like all the other uh, demo sites. Uh, the Chrome one is also pretty cool, but I've never tried it in Firefox. I can't, can't vouch for how well it works. With this fish tank and the... Uh, and oh, the yeah. It's cool. The Google Body Explorer. Got body browser. Yeah. Yes, yes, I saw that body browser one. works awesome in Chrome. Yeah. That's well, you need you need WebGL and GL yes. enabled. No, of course it's you do. But for no, all those you Chromium do. On the, by, in the new Chromium, it's enabled, it's enabled by, by default. default. Yeah. Yeah, man, I tried it um, over the, when it first came out in December. Mm. Yeah, well, there was. Yeah, I'll let go there. But anyway, yeah, no, there's some cool stuff. There's some cool stuff. Uh, the body browser is quite nice. Anyway. Yeah, it's very mm-hmm. cool. It's actually if anyone is listening and they've got people of they doing anatomy or that. Have a look because you can actually click on a vein and it'll tell you the Latin name of the vein and all that sort of nonsense highlighted for you and, and things. I guess it might be quite useful if you're getting into that it's sort quite of stuff. Also, if you're a kid, I yes. remember all the projects we had to do. and Yeah, for biology, at, I guess at school and stuff, it might be And you, you can say, take these layers or put these layers back on. You can yes. peel back layers of skin and right down yeah. to bones and, the, and then you can say, oh, I only want to see the nervous yes, system. And, Reminds and me of that, of, uh, of that Robbie Williams uh, music video. The other one oh, where they're skating, yes. <laughs> yeah, where the they're skating around one. the center and he starts ripping off all his skin layer by layer. Oh, yes. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, Barry, you wanted to talk about this one, the uh, mega projects to bring farmers. Sorry, just before we jump onto that, you showed us something awesome this week about that picture extender. If we're talking about browsers and so on. Oh, yeah. I don't have them in the show notes. That is, don't you? Very, I've got very it. Cool. That was, that was very, very that's cool. That's old. It's from 2007. Is it, hey? Off, yeah. you, so, so yeah. no, what, do you oh, have yeah, to, yeah. do the browser, does the browser, I've never read no, up no, much, no, okay, no, 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 the no, browser no. doesn't support it, do you no, have to the, like, okay, just explain what it was, yeah. this, this is for shrinking and, and expanding images. It's called uh, content aware retargeting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and especially normally when you like shrink a, a picture to half the size, uh, you basically throw out half the pixels. Yes. yes. Mm. Right. What this does is it actually looks at the energy section, finds the least important pixels. So the image actually, it's quite scary, it actually scales and you still have that clarity and yeah and, and sort of it's not just that though no it is that's how it works no, no i'm not saying that's not how it works but i'm just saying like oh, the, w- w- the way more. the way it scales the picture you don't lose any the sort important of information the important that's information. the whole point of it yeah you're not so you're not cropping the no, picture. no no that's what it does is you it bring it down but it's it saves scale almost yes it does yeah the that's what i'm saying what it does so cool is about it. what it does is it is it looks at it tries to find the most interesting pieces of the image and then build parts from the top to the bottom through the least interesting mm. parts and removes those. Yeah, it mm. sounds like a it sounds like a normal entropy calculation. It is. With like a Viterbi yeah. algorithm. And it's it works very well. And the cool thing it's is you can cool. actually expand the image in to beyond well. the scale and then it starts oh, adding wow. parts yeah. to the image. And it's it's the, the scary thing is so that you can like make it a widescreen image and, and it looks yeah. normal. Like it, it wasn't it blurry. Yeah. Amazing. Hmm. Doesn't it blur it or anything yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. It doesn't we'll, scale. We'll, we'll, find the link. we'll add the link. I've got I've um, got the link right on me. I've dropped it into RC. It's like right it's now. like the the it's feature right. that uh, that Adobe is also added to to their new. I think it's CS5 uh, content to wear full. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, just another reason you can never believe a photo ever again. So uh, mm-hmm. uh, it, it's essentially that thing. You basically um, where there was no information, you suddenly fill it in. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. Um, uh, in, a, in a like for instance they show you know uh, panoramic photos and then they fill in the blacks or they have a picture and there's some litter on the ground and they're like no we don't you know we're going to use this as like a banner image on our website yeah. people don't want to see the litter so click drag just delete them oh this must be because you could also with this thing you could say okay these areas I have to keep don't alter so this is like for faces so it doesn't it doesn't change the aspect ratios, ratios of the faces, faces. Yeah. so the rest of the image will, will scale with the face will stay or you can say okay this area I say is unimportant. And they had this picture with, with, with about seven people walking on, on the, the beach, beach. Yeah. And they made two people, uh, this is not important. And 
Doof. They were gone. They just scale the image <laughs> again and doop, they disappear. And, uh, and but th- this is a browser app. This, no, this no, 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 no. It's, 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 it's from Sigraph. It's a research project. Okay. You can get the paper. The paper is actually free. Right. Read the paper. Implement it yourself. Okay, sorry. I thought cool. this was actually for implementation no. of pictures in a browser. No, no, no sorry. No. Okay, so it's not. All no, right. You could, you could so that's why I brought it up like in the with same canvas. I'm sure you you, that were aiming for that. Yes. No, they'll, they'll oh yeah, you could probably they'll implement they'll it yourself. Yeah. yeah. This was 2007 though. So okay. You know, was very cool. Was really with, with all this coming through, why exactly do we need operating systems then anymore? Well, something needs to run the browser. And run the tip to hardware. Yeah. You're always going to have. You can have such a scale down. Oz, just oh yes. up, I mean, well, Chrome OS. I mean, Chrome OS. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrome OS. Chrome OS. Plus, that's I don't want to be in the cloud. Yeah. Issue is the network currently so stable cool. enough. Oh no, 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 no. You, you know what? That's not, not my. This week, no. That's yeah. not my <laughs> only <laughs> issue. That's not my only issue. Why would I buy a piece of hardware that can can do everything and then limit it? Because the hardware can't do everything. That's, no, why, but that's, you, but he's that's not why you can buy it for fifty bucks. No, but you can't. That's the thing that they're it for. The, okay, maybe, maybe that's what they eventually no, no, aiming for. Um, you'd have it. The hardware is going to be dirt cheap, yeah. Yeah. and it's going to be really low scale, yeah. low pro. And you do uh, all, bro- all your processing on big yeah. servers. But that's uh, that's, the, the, that's normal stuff. Did you just buy for in an office? You know, twenty people mm. here. The, the God, thing is, that's where we work. What you mean, know, the thing is, us would buy and. A big computer to and play not on. the thing is not just a big computer. I'd like I have to kind of agree with Barry in this is that storage is cheap, memory is cheap, cheap. Yes. processing yes. power is cheap. There is no yeah. reason that the computer. I mean, we've got we've got things in our pockets now okay. that right. that used to be able to run, yeah. you know, games that I played back in nineteen. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I can think of a couple of good reasons. You can now go, give a guy here's your PC. No, they can never install anything on it. Think business. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Fine, fair for business. Think business. And your uh, think business. Think, think, uh, think. Uh, domain policies. Mm. It's the same thing. Here's your PC. You can't do bugger all because I've locked you. The it's the same story, down. exactly. So it's a limitation. Yeah. I don't want when I buy the thing off the shelf. I don't want it limited. Mm. If, yeah. if the IT policy guy wants to limit it, you know, cool. Let but that but be but done in the enterprise. They don't let the if you, if yeah, whole thing be nerfed user, from the start. Of, it would never work for a power user. No, 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 no of course exactly. yeah. no, It would work for your mom. If, if your mom is not, I, I know, yeah, that's what for, I'm like, for like a grandma. Your grand. Yeah. Yeah. She just wants well, to get her mail mother. and she wants yes. to get online. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why, which is why you've got that 90 year old granny that's like a, a poster child for. Yeah. for Sorry, I'm just playing know. devil's advocate <laughs> here, but like, you no, know dude, what I, but you know what I mean? I would get yeah. apps completely no, pissed I, I would never use it. No, I'd never use it myself. I mean, you look, you look at that, uh, what's that, the E, whatever, the Google. Like a very cool VMware is. That Google laptop. That thing is like full on. It's like, it's pretty much a full on laptop, but they've just taken it and. But like limited what you can do. It's like you will never buy a laptop and go, oh, but I'm going to load but Chrome but OS on but it. But Barry, you're a power user. <laughs> no, of course. Of course. Um, no. But you, you're not the normal. Even if I wasn't a power user, I would feel cheated in buying a PC that is capable of doing yeah, more but and then limited. It, it, but it, but do you, everything that you wanted it to. No. What, why would you feel cheated? Yeah, cheaper? but think about it. I don't know why okay. this will take off in the sense... You, you, okay, you there's two the laptops. They're the same price, almost Barry, the same Barry, price in the you, store. You have an iPhone. Price, Your remember. iPhone is in the limited end. in what yeah. it can do. Yeah, but you jailbreak it and it's not. Exactly, but there's <laughs> nothing <laughs> stopping you reflashing it. But you really think your grand is going to reflash it. <laughs> <laughs> and if your grand is going to reflash it, well, then she probably wouldn't have bought the damn thing in the first place. <laughs> What are you telling me? I'm not a power user because I bought an iPhone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I yes. Yes. Okay. Barry, well, let's not go down that route. <laughs> Barry, I'd like to just to uh, yeah. throw in your way that Douglas Adam was a m- huge Mac fan. He was he was the he had always the latest Mac toys, Mac printers, Macs, iMacs running around, and he was a big Apple supporter. So. Yeah, that's the one place I can fault them on. I'm reading... <laughs> <laughs> the only place. I'm reading Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective it's brilliant. Agency. I, it's I'm rereading it again. What a brilliant concept. But that was written, I think, in the front. It's like written on my Apple too, or something. Yes. <laughs> 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 have you, have you guys watched the uh, TV series? No. Yeah. That's good. No, Is it good? Yeah, really? Yeah, I must good. get that. It's Legally. Brilliant. <laughs> I, I, haven't, I haven't <laughs> actually. Gonna, I have it watched legally. it on <laughs> TV when it comes out. You, but you it's pre scheduling for yeah. like five years from now. Exactly. There was, there was one story where uh, him, he came to a hotel. Now it's like two o'clock in the morning and his luggage is lost and whatever. And he's got a little one of these uh, Scion Palm Pilot thingies way back then, you know, the first mm. no, little laptop thingy. And he says he's busy typing in the bath with his thumbs. And he says, no, he's just trying it out. So he's trying to type this whole article and. It starts off with this one dude, uh, some English lord, apparently died standing up by its fireplace. 
because he was dead that he couldn't do it. So he stood there and he, and he died for some <laughs> other reason. <laughs> but he died standing up. But that was his whole story. He was lying in the bath and he says, oh, look at this. I've, I've typed four pages. So, yeah, this works. <laughs> <laughs> cool. A challenge accepted moment. Uh, challenge accepted. I'm not sure how he, we diverged. Yeah, no, that much. Uh, Fiverr, very. Fiverr, very. <laughs> you, you had something about... You wanted to chat about the, the mega project uh, that, that's happening in Durban. Well, uh, gonna it's going to come rolling uh, out to Durban, the home. Cape Town, Victoria and Johannesburg. They're going to roll out. Yeah, but, but right now it's Durban. It oh, Durban. Fiverr. I thought you said Fiverr. Like the website Fiverr. Oh, no, uh, man. Fiverr, dude. No, I know I started talking about that. I'm like, I'm trying to think like when this week I told you guys that I wanted to speak about Fiverr. And I was, it was just <laughs> weird because I, I looked at Fiverr again today. And that's why I was just thinking. Did oh. you ever make some money off it? Yeah. Today, I log, that's what I'm saying. Today. You made a Fiverr. I logged, I logged in. <laughs> and I was always wondering why my money never came through to my PayPal account from Fiverr.com. And I was just on there today looking if anything had changed. And then this like, different icon, which I'm pretty sure had never been there before, uh, was there. And I clicked on it and was like, transfer your money now to your PayPal account. I was like, Fuck yeah. How much like, did you make? I don't know, like 20 something dollars or 40 dollars <laughs> or something. I can't remember. I saw it today and I just like transferred it to my PayPal account. I was did like, you ever do that, that transcribing one that you signed up for? Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> yes, you never transcribe anything ever. For five, <laughs> for five bucks it's not worth it the guy sent me like a an hour uh, audio clip and i start there transcribing and you don't realize how much slower you can type than people uh, can talk yes. like uh, and until you're a journalist yeah because I, I just thought you know i would do it for the hell of it just to see what it was like no, no, i failed that project hard. badly <laughs> but you did the you did the photo the african sunset photos and crap yeah like, that, that, like I, I went up onto the top of the mountain and and, 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 uh, and shouted out whatever people wanted <laughs> yeah. people were eating that up eh? people were <laughs> loving that <laughs> cool. like I, I said to them i would i uh, i would go on to the top of an african mountain and videotape uh -huh. myself shouting anything they wanted but the stuff uh -huh. people came up with was ridiculous <laughs> like some some like Foreign countries, yeah. dude, like going uh, nuts no. about wanting their hotel advertised, and they were going to put this on their website <laughs> for their hotel. From so Africa, from Barry Africa. sitting somewhere so. in some arbitrary hotel, <laughs> screaming out their name. Oh, it was it was crazy, but anyway, <laughs> it was good fun. Fun. So, so now let's talk about the fiber. Fiber. Okay. okay. Sorry, I want you guys to talk about the story first, and then I'll add my two cents. Durban, Cape Town, Johannesburg, PE, Bloom, and Pretoria. And Pretoria. Yeah, eventually. Eventually. Um, but right now it's Durban and it's trialed in Durban. There's going to be yet another sort of test area in Durban before it even goes anywhere. Yeah. So um, this has I, been rolled out for a while. We, we, we just need to, I think we just need to uh, like e exercise to caution. Wait. Yes. Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Well, I look, I saw how they're playing to it. That was more interesting. Yes, so first absolutely. Of all, um, they take it through the sewers. Yes. Sort of into... Sorry, no, is this the municipality project? No, no. no. Okay, company. is this another a company? company. This, is, yeah, okay. this isn't Cape Town municipality or the Metronet in Durban. Yeah. This is all something right. different. So first of all, they, they bring it. I, can't, I think they bring it into almost like into a suburb via the the sewage pipes. And then at that point, they've got some new trenching system that digs a. a, a what's, it's called micro trenching. Okay. Yeah. And it's it's okay. uh, called five centimeters by five. I can't remember the exact dimensions, but it digs a very very small hole. And they can do what's it one in the road. How deep? In the road. In the road, okay. In the road. Very, very, very short. Okay. And they can do, I think, 1.5 Ks a day with re with re tarring after, after it, which is actually very, very fast. Very cool, very cool. Okay. So that's how they're then going to get it close Five to Five Ks a day. No, 1.5 Ks. Oh, sorry. Which is actually, say, but that, even that's good. That's, yeah, that's very that's good. That's yeah. Yeah. Very, very quick. Um, and that's one little thingy. You can have multiple little thingies doing that. Yes, so. yeah. yeah. Um, then what they do is they bring it to your house. What they do is they go to your water mains outside. This yeah. is cool. They then turn it off and they cut it. And then they, they put their own, they've got a new seal that they've, it's guaranteed for at least 10 years. 100. Like, 100, 100 years, sorry, yes. 100 okay. years. That they thread the fiber to and they've got some other machine of some kind that then runs it through the water pipes and comes out in just by the mains by your house. And they cut it there again and then they feed out the fiber out that yeah. way. That's and then crazy, they seal it. Dude. And then they run that into your house. So I just think that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, 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 they, so they do it from like where the water main starts at the bottom. Yeah. So and then outside feeds it your up property, you know, normally where you oh, have your measurements. Okay, okay, and, and then, then they use that yeah. to go into your property. Now, now, unfortunately, folks like us who live in these Bangkat Parka, um, my water meter, for instance, is right by my house. 
So th- th- there's going to have to... I don't know quite know yes, how that's going to work, feeding it from the street into but the, the bunk, complex. But the Bangat Park normally have um, trunking already for like uh, telecoms yeah. and stuff. Yeah, so they'll probably just run it in the day. They've got trunking for your gate. It depends on who builds it. Intercom. No, but I don't have an intercom. You do. Yeah. No, but that's the kind of thing. So no, but we need new paving anyway. I will be the first person on the body corporate to go. Make sure you put fiber in there. a reason to get on the body corporate. So we're digging up the complex. <laughs> we shall have fiber. I still think you can do something like it. Even now, mm. lay fiber throughout you guys. You know, do a little network. No. Um, yeah. Charge the guys and and go for it. No. Well, all the you all the new the like all the you, uh, the fancy golf states. I mean, they've been for oh, years. Yeah. They've been already lying down the fiber and everything. So that, yeah. that's been Neotel's whole but, thing but, but as well. Tell me mm. quickly, how do they dig that micro hole? Is it like a big blade which they cut into the tall? They have a machine <laughs> that is designed to dig and. I don't know. And retard. I'm just thinking, I mean, it's probably it's like, a mini like, ditch a, like a big blade. I mean, just yeah, it probably is like a big just, saw blade. And you just and cut the tall I guess, road. I guess why they're saying it's so shallow is that it doesn't affect any other pipes or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you know what the other thing is? Not just is it quicker, it's cheaper to do, right? Because you're going so low. And also, so then they can use that extra budget for repairs. Because but being so low, you're going to get it dug yeah. up a lot more yeah. than... It yeah. would be if it was deeper. Like a certain so incident in Randburg with a water burst water pipe where... I don't know if you guys have seen the photos no, of that. No, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. my the video. They said it's stuck on you. Okay. But, um, Sorting out the video. Uh, right. anybody heard, why, why is Centurion's power off? Do people... Uh, yes, uh, substation uh, blew up. Substation blew up. Really? Oh, that's fire. a cut thing. Oh. Um, on Monday when it happened, um, pretty much the entire area, including here, was out. Uh. It was... It was I heard it was huge. Huge. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge. It's like a total blackout, yeah. Yeah. Proteo coin here and stuff, they're all running on Jenny Power because my mate works for them and he was um, complaining both, that both they couldn't use the aircon. Yeah. Planet, Planet yeah. Fitness is running on Jenny Power. Yeah. Still yeah. playing their I crap music. Because I remember <laughs> when I was school, there was a, a, power, a power substation, a power, a power station that blew up. A guy drove into a truck or something, <laughs> like, depressed or whatever. And the whole of Newcastle's power was all for four days. Yeah. yeah, saw the most amazing well, stuff. The problem is, some of that equipment is not just on read on ready oh, standby. Yeah, it's not there. I, I mean, mean, it's like, well, yeah. fine, we'll get it from Germany. Yeah, yeah. and there's a six month lead time. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> tough. Sh- Never mind. Yeah. It's, it's an entire area subsession. She can't go. Oh, let's plonk on you and go flick switch. Yeah, yeah you got to sort of put in, test, make sure everything's okay. Yeah. And then like slowly turn one, one, yeah. by they one, did a, one, they, one, 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 one. My one. dad was involved in a cool little project and they built from scratch oh. a new substation in four days. Oh, wow. With, po- with poles, just blue gun poles and stuff yeah. from nothing to a working subs- yes. emergency to get em- just, for an emergency just, just in four it. days they wow. rebuilt that's the impressive place. Hey. Yeah. Four that's pretty cool <laughs> okay yes. it, wasn't, it wasn't permanent but it was it was quite a cool little project to, yes. to, to work on yeah. <laughs> well, just to just to wrap up the fiber thing um just wanted to say that what, what's what's interesting about what they're doing just for people who don't know much about these kinds of things for those of us who have followed it for so long is fiber is classically very expensive to lay uh, mm. to a house and that's been everybody in South Africa's excuse no no uh, it's too expensive to lay fiber to people's houses um, and so there's no business case because it'll take like 20,000 US dollars to fiber up a single home yeah. um, and so that that's why it hasn't been done is because they don't see uh, they are way clear to recoup their costs in because five years yeah no it's no it's, it's less than that they, they require recouping on the cloth yeah, like sh- shareholders are bastards but unfortunately yeah. shareholders have the money so um, so that's the problem. And so now what, what these guys seem to have been able to do with, with this technology, which, has been, which I3 have used internationally, we're not the first country to do this, um, is to be able to bring those costs down, is what it seems like. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I see they're getting good. Cool. I mean, they're saying about you know, 100 megabit to 1 gigabit. No, that, that's a that's – a, look, absolutely. I'm not saying it's not possible. It's possible. Yes, yeah, Who's paying for that backhaul? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but mm. if let's say it's you, you do 100 megabit on local network. Yes, what do we pay for local networks in this country? No, but it's, it's on, on the fiber network. Some places. No. Yeah, but so that means you're going to have to build your whole own national network yeah, because you have to get to Malkbo Strand to get out of the country or no, no, to listen, the. Listen to what I'm saying. Sure. On their local fiber, their yeah. fiber network they own. Yeah, yeah. It's 100 megabits. Yeah. Until you break out. Why not go as mm. fast as you can? You know, on your local, on your network, local network, network, like we do on the no, way. No, that, that's uh, because your, your switches get more expensive. So, yes, yeah. let's say I've got a gigabit speed on mine. Now, everybody starts torrenting. The switch that I need to give everybody a, a gigabit at that 
speed is an incredibly expensive switch. Okay. Yeah. But if I, I can give everybody 100 megabits and the 100 megabits will work perfectly fine yeah. at a far smaller switch um, internally. So it's not that it's not capable of, it's just when you say, tell yeah. people I've given you a gigabit uh, fiber and then you go, I'm speaking to my mate over there and I'm not getting a gigabit. Why not? It's like, well, because everybody's trying to do that and the switch is going to fall over. Mm. Um, so you mm. say, okay, well, we'll, we'll under promise because then we know we can give it to you. Yeah. I, th I think it's, it's good of them to, to come out and say, listen, our technology is capable of gigabit per second speeds because that means that when, if and when we are capable of doing this, no. then... Uh, because th this uh, is not new either, hey? You no, just remember absolutely that. I mean, not. No. I mean, they've been doing this in, in Korea, South Korea, Korea a good example. and France and for, I mean, okay. what, the last five years, 10 years. Yeah. So it's not nothing. It's yeah. nothing new. Yeah. The, the, the big issue here, um, which people, uh, which, which came up while we were discussing the topic in the office, was what people tend to forget is that... They're going to get less water. And, 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 and over here, <laughs> the, in, in, yeah, let, let alone the civil works, just, in, just imagine a sewage blockage uh. or something that needs to be repaired. First thing to go, <laughs> fiber's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Dead fiber. But, I mean, all that aside... Um, people tend to forget there is no content in this country. Yeah, no, I mean, we've got our local content, and, and I'm very happy for that. Because you know why salary. there's no content oh. in this country? Because local bandwidth is too damn expensive. Maybe. Maybe we can attract more, more people for Locally, hosting, but we're just home. so far away from the audience. That's the thing. You want to host no, where the audience let's, is. Let's say our shows, mm. right? We locally produce shows. We have and host content. them in, like, Germany or whatever. Yes, because I cannot host them locally. Yes. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I would love to put them down here and give it and not pull them mm. overseas. And I'm sure there's lots of companies that would want mm. to do it. You, you could never start a Facebook in this country yeah. like a local one yeah. because it would be, you have to host it internationally. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I know it's a, it's a bit of a vicious circle, but what I just want to get down to here is that that is why fiber tends to be less or, or why internet connections can be less expensive over there. It's, like, it's actually like a massive vicious circle if you think yeah. about it because the internet connections overseas are less expensive because that's where the audience and the content is. Yeah. Um, but now because the audience and the content is there, everybody keeps hosting there and keeps not hosting here. And that means that the internet prices here go up because there's no audience and no... Yeah. And no, no content here, so it's uh, yeah, um, it's it's a tricky situation. There is a bit of gouging of prices and stuff with our yeah. Like, with let's with be honest. Sorry. Let's be honest. Yeah. Things are gonna, yeah. yeah. Let's be honest. Things do cost too yeah. much here. Yeah. What you would need is just someone to say, listen, we're making it very inexpensive. Bring up, bring your VPSs over here. Put a VPS. I mean, VPSs is a very good example. Yeah. Because well, they, they've Blood shown it will cost you so about. It's still cheaper to host overseas yes. than yes. locally. Just purely on bandwidth. We're not talking about server costing all the yeah. rest of it. Bandwidth. Let's say you give me a one meg pipe, yes. it would be cheaper for me to get a, a one meg pipe. And what I also network. don't get is that our local guys tend to charge more for storage. What is up with that? Why, why, why is hard drive space here more expensive than over there? And you oh. know how, I mean, it's you go, you've like the cheap options, 50 megs. Yeah. Are you uh. fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I can for... There goes our PG rating. <laughs> for literally, for literally... You'll have to beep that out. For literally 60 bucks... <laughs> A month, yeah. I can get unlimited storage. Unlimited. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> unlimited. And literally, I can store terabytes and terabytes of stuff yeah. for 60 bucks a month. 60 rand, not dollars or yeah, any yeah. rand. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all that aside, I think it would be very cool to get fiber in South Africa. Would be, yes. yes. <clears throat> well, I can tell you something about that. I mean, fiber to the home. We have fiber. Okay, yes. Barry, <laughs> your comment. I can tell you something. I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to tell you, but I'm just going to tell you anyway. Well, right. what's, what's, the the they like, yeah. what's the worst they can do? Kick you out, send you back to Australia. <laughs> I'm just a journalist. <laughs> I can <laughs> take it. <laughs> he's got the haircut ready. Yeah. Off the record. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be recorded online. <laughs> we're we're, we're um, dealing with uh, Ericsson at the moment, which is I mean, everybody knows who Ericsson is. And Ericsson has just got the 10. And only the reason why um, I know this is because we, we are, as an, I say we, our company that I work for, we are the educational content provider for Ericsson. Ericsson has landed the tender of the, what do they call it? It's the Joburg City Municipality. Yeah. Okay? Jo Joburg City, they, they, it's branded. City of Joburg, yeah. City of Joburg, City that's yeah. it. The but City of Joburg Municipality sent out a tender about three or four years ago to fiber up the whole city, including... Every home, right? Hmm. Ericsson is busy rolling it out. I, that's what I'm saying. This is oh, wow. if you don't know about this, if you especially no, you, I, Jan, if yeah. you don't know about this, I don't know how hush this is supposed to be. But, but tenders are normally public knowledge. Yeah, so exactly. So Ericsson at the moment is busy rolling out billions of rands worth of fiber 
to every home in mm. in a uh, city well, of Joburg. Thing, hey no. Joburg, welcome and to Cape Town. And that's what they <laughs> and that's what they're yeah. busy with at the moment because we we've been asked to uh, to do some content delivery so that every house will have educational content and blah 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 yeah. but that's beside the point this is what they're doing and i think this is quite interesting yeah. actually because this is the first that i had heard about it and i'd not heard about it in the media at all mm. and Gen- generally tenders like these don't hit the media until they get corrupt but <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but, exactly uh, but but fair in, but i mean in yeah. fairness uh, where I, where I was, I was actually it? so they found out that they've been made they've corrupt. been corrupt yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um i just i just wanted to say now i'm gonna i'm actually gonna check who the prime is on this contract because it won't be Ericsson. Ericsson doesn't have the BEE mm-hmm. sta- standard uh, stature uh, to, to, mm. to prime on this contract. But I remember working on this tender. It, it, it was, it was first it was a big tender. We had a cool project name for it that I can't share. I'll tell you guys offline. Um, a cool code name for it and everything. And it got penny packeted and penny packeted yeah. because bus rapid transport, this fiber system, everything was one giant, ginormous tender. And we, yeah. and we bid like billions of rands. It, it yeah. was like, yeah, billions. I don't even know how many billions. It's too too big a number for me to even comprehend. And then they they broke it down into smaller and smaller tenders uh, as time went by, uh, as the World Cup came closer and closer. Yeah. This is one of those projects that they had to get working before the World Cup. It's on Tech Central, by the way. You what you were talking about? The now. Ericsson contract. My one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. When? Like today? Uh, no, 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 no. I'll tell a you while in a ago. second. It's because oh, sorry, uh, do you want to just? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Anyway, so. Um, but uh, yeah, these projects have been happening in South Africa all over mm. the place. So there's, there, there's one in Cape Town. And um, uh, we were theorizing that the whole reason they're busy doing this trial in Durban is because Durban has this. Yeah. Durban yeah. has well, five. They have it already, also, yeah. Where, where does Neotel land? Uh, no way. You're asking me. Um, it's what, land what? Sorry. Land Fiber. what? Uh, isn't that <laughs> on the West Coast? <laughs> no, I'd have to go and check. It's <laughs> not Neotel. Uh, Seacom. 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 Yeah. I thought you were talking Durban. about Seacom. It's Sorry, Durban. Seacom. Yeah. So they've got bandwidth. Up the North Coast. Coast. Mm. Yeah. And um, because the reason why I was just, I thought I'd bring this up as well, because tomorrow I have a meeting with a school that already has the fiber rolled out to it. And a lot of, a lot of um, the city of Joburg already has the fiber in place. And we're mm. running a pilot tomorrow while well, talking about the, the tech specs of it tomorrow uh, from a school, Sincidians Girls College, yes. doing a remote learning to another school, which oh, is also the cool. fiber has been rolled out to. Um, so yeah, this is, I just thought like I yeah. I hadn't read about it anywhere that I could remember. So it was yeah. on my broadband April last year. Yeah, yeah, a quick a quick plug just so that uh, it's not just Tech Central that has the news. Though <laughs> in fairness, Tech Central did break the news on the mega project that i3 has. So I just wanted to give them a big up big up for that if they're even listening. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about the education content and everything. I yeah. saw a video uh, in this week of, of Microsoft bringing up new technology on screens, 3D. Flat screens. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, Where they had these. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. People going Bridget. to watch movies. <laughs> and it's like, oh, cool. And the rockets are 3D. It's like, I just. At the end of it, you of kind of. But even anyway, if you yes, do watch no, no, the. No, it's, like yeah. it's, it's not like, the, right. like the 3D TVs. <laughs> they, they work on a. Uh, yes, was it a crystal thing, whatever, way. Uh, they work on the refraction rate of the image is is uh, inserted on the side of the screen. And by the refraction, it the image is all over. So you can a proper 3D screen where they were using it for education where they had two schools and they had this big glass screen mm. and kids could interact and you know draw on the screen and yeah. they would write like in English and it would translate into Arabic or something on the yeah. other side yeah, cool. uh, well, I, I don't know I don't know exactly that's about concept, the but that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's I don't know brilliant. exactly about the the, um, the Microsoft project right <laughs> but I don't know if you guys have heard of a, a show in the UK it's called The Bed Show Right, yeah. it's a it's a big educational electronic educational show in uh, in London um, every show year. As in a actual trade show. Trade show yes. kind of thing, yeah. And um, <clears throat> and what what it is is everybody, all the electronic content providers around the world, come and they show off their latest and greatest. And this year, the two big things was bringing education to tablets. Yeah. Or well, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the people bringing it there was actually all on iPads. But the, the rest of the content was all to do with 3D, bringing 3D to education. So it's, it's funny you say yeah. that. I haven't seen the Microsoft uh, uh, okay. one specifically. Have a, have a look at it. It was all very concept, uh, yeah. conceptual. And well, these, were, these the are all conceptual. It was very rough. It was yeah. like, okay, we're going to, you know, try and imagine what this is going to do. And just ignore the duct tape. And, 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 yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. the same thing. So they had this engineer guy, there was long hair, and it was like, you know, but if you do this and this and this, they'll probably do, and you know, this. Yeah. And you can see, like, the general's like, blank, you know, okay? Like, <laughs> okay, sit in front of it. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that's that's it's. But it's, yeah, it's amazing how they they yeah, they they really trying every aspect to get three D to work. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, as you were saying, Tim, like I go to a movie, it's in three D. So you every time you kind of forget how bad three D really is, yeah. and you go watch, <laughs> and you and you go watch it, and you're like, I should have just watched that in two no, D. My problem is I keep yeah. on thinking they're not in three D, and I rock up and, oh, it's like, and it's in three D. It's like oh, oh, it's in three D. Okay, well I'm gonna have to buy another pair of glasses. Do you know how many of these glasses I have yeah. <laughs> around yeah. now? No, I just, must find some I, leave them, a, I just leave a, them in my car a, now. I think in the, enter- in the entertainment market currently, it's a gimmick. It's, it's it is a gimmick. Really it's a way of charging you more money. Exactly. And, 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 just, and no, no, no. it's like a DRM measure. HD. Yeah. It, it's not just yeah. to charge you more money, Tim. It's just to get people in the cinemas. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good it's point It's just really well. get the people yeah. coming to the movies. But it's not an incentive to go to the movies. No, but it is for little kids. Yeah, I want to go Listen, see Bolt in 3D. It's kids. If it's in 3D or 2D or, 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 or 1D, a kid will go to a movie. Oh, but, it's, but that type of kid will want to go to watch Bolt anyway. But it's gimmicky, Tim. And yeah. kids and people want to go watch gimmicky crap. And that's... Uh, oh, and and trust talking me, about gimmicky. Because 3D is better than 2D because 3 is bigger than 2. <laughs> exactly. And I'm telling you, yeah. if you... The average person that I'm goes to the movies <laughs> that sees, okay, there's a 2D version and there's a 3D version. Obviously, gonna I'm going to go, go see version. 3D version. Because 3D like, is well, better than 2D. 2D, 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 2D version the first time in the second 80 time. 80 bucks yeah. more than a 2D but version. And then you go watch Tron and the only 3D effect you see is in the credits. Yeah. I was actually so happy about that. If there was lots of 3D in Tron, I did not know. It, w- it was as soon as it entered the Tron world, everything from that point was in 3D. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah. But I mean, like, it, it might as well have been in 2D. I was great. Oh, yes, yeah, I, I was grateful, cool. though, because every now and then, like, when I realized it was in 2D, oh, I could take my glasses off and I was like, oh, yes, I can just watch it in 2D. <laughs> no. I, 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 I didn't watch a lot of movies. And I, one I watched in 3D was Toy Story 3. And oh, I, that was good. I remember the only three, the 3D part in it, which I can remember is in the beginning of the credits, there's a, like a ghost thing yeah. flying to you. Yeah. And that's about it. I was just Toy Story 3 was good. I was watching my nephew sitting on my lap. Sorry, you know, Four years old, trying with the glasses. <laughs> too yeah. big for him. And yeah, it yeah. was quite fun. But All I want to know is if I anyone's digress. listening, send us a photo of you and your mates watching the rugby with 3D glasses on. Yeah. Pissed out your bracket, <sighs> screaming at your team to win. If they're losing, really, I want to see what that looks like, please. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a shock okay. supporter, you're not going to lose. So, yeah. Where are they going to get rugby in 3D, first off? <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. That's wait. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about 3D, Nintendo, or, or rather, Core Group launched yeah. the Nintendo 3DS yeah. last yeah. week. That's why I couldn't. You weren't was here. It? No, was I don't it? remember, but it might have been why I wasn't here. Okay. It, yeah. it, mi- it was maybe one of the two reasons I wasn't here. Um, yeah. So I got to play with it for the first time. Uh, some of my some of my colleagues from my gaming went over to E3 last year and messed with it there. I, everybody, is it true? Everybody I've heard that play with this say, if you're playing for like 10 to 20 minutes, it's great. If you're playing for like 30 minutes or longer, you get a headache. And, but you and can that's turn why they actually intensity. say, on the, the, the thing boots up and it says, when the game starts, it's like, do not play for more than 10 minutes at a time. And do not give it to small kids because it can ruin their the, brain. They are. But, but, but w- that's because there's no... Ruin their brain! Their eyes. eyes. At least they've got a stick on. At least they've got a sticker. The way their eyes process the visual images, and he's in set yet, and using 3D... Uh, while they're <laughs> learning, awesome. it, 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 that has to go no. into the year's bloopers yeah. almost <laughs> no, because that no, was no, amazing. No, funny clips. I've, <laughs> I've heard them say that, but they didn't say it ruins their brains. I <laughs> 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 what you say? It doesn't ruin their eyes. Okay, it ruins the way it can ruin, potentially ruin oh, the man. way that their brains process, process images. The eye, yeah. 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 There's no yeah. science for or against this because for some reason no parent wants to sign up their kid to a clinical trial. <laughs> What's up with that? I know. I mean, geez, well, are they not thinking about humanity? Stick on. Humanity? They don't stick on. Yeah. But what's uh, nice about it is that you can change the intensity of the 3D and yeah, there's no glasses required. Yeah. And, and you can turn and it off completely. And, and one of our gaming journalists, actually that's the way he did all of the games. He's like, he, he put, it in, put them in 3D, play the game. And he's like, 3D sucks. Turn the 3D off and just play that's it normally. Cool. I've heard it's very yeah. well implemented though. The, the, the problem is the viewing angle. And, and I guess that's a problem with, yeah. with the, the technology they yeah. use anyway. So um, I don't know if you guys know how the technology yes, works. It's that 3M yeah. technology, yeah. yeah. And it's glasses free, just yeah. for anybody who doesn't know what the yeah. 3DS does. It's, it's 3D and you don't need glasses to see it. And you also don't need to f- look funky squint like with those old <laughs> pictures in New Magazine back in the day. Uh, you can just look at the screen. And, um, and yeah, so it's, it's, actually, it's actually quite cool. But the thing is, like, uh, a lot of the games require you to move. Like, I was playing the submarine game. And so what you do is you, uh, you know, you push the buttons to, like, sink your submarine and to fire torpedoes and stuff. Why um, would you want to sink your submarine? 
<laughs> Haven't you ever wanted to sink your submarine? <laughs> anyway, and so uh, in order to aim, you have to physically turn. You ah. physically turn your body. So it's got the whole gyro thing going on and stuff. Oh. But now if you turn, you tend to move you know, yeah. yourself. And if you're not looking at that screen at exactly the right incidence angle, it's completely the 3D blurry. 3D effect is gone. Now. Never mind, 3D effect oh, is gone. It's, it's blurry. blurry. You can't oh, see what's okay. going on on the screen. Uh, look, oh. 3D is interesting <laughs> it's not here yet no. it's not, not here for many years time it's just it's not i, I think it, we need, actually need to skip it we need to skip the 3d and go into the 40. projection projection <laughs> on the, the eye yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. i don't no, want anything no, 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 but, but, but away no? from away from we, 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 you need basically that the glasses or something like that is no. the image is your projector yeah. yes so and it must track your eyes and then mm. as your eyes move the problem is i'm Tim fine with those contacts with that people are still going to get seasick you're never going to get rid of that. Yeah, but people get seasick of watching people walk. No, but this way. But <laughs> until you've got that, go away. Bother me again when you have that. I'll, I I'll look again. New, I think it just needs a we'll, USB plug what, what in what the we'll side of the head. Is, what we'll do is... We'll USB plug 5, in. dude. I'm telling you. USB 5. Straight Thund on the side Thunderbolt. of the head. <laughs> bother yeah, me, Thunderbolt. Bother me again. No, that's, uh, that's USB... <laughs> No, that's oh, Intel Thunderbolt. Yeah, no, Intel it's, Thunderbolt. It's, that, it's uh, a display port. Which it's in the new Mac, by the way. New Mac? New Mac anyway? No. It's in the new Mac? Yeah. Okay. Have you seen whatever. what they cost? Yeah. They're cheaper whatever. than this, eh? They're cheaper than what I paid for this. Yeah. Really? Uh, I'll do a price comparison. That's because when I, I when I bought it. this Mac well, edition as well. Maybe the 15-inch well. one. Maybe the 15 and 17-inch one are, are 17 cheaper. 17-inch. I paid 27 for for this one, and I saw they were for 24, 25. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Maybe so they have come down. They have come down. But like for instance, the, the what what they've done with the 13-inch is that they either charge the same or more, and they've ripped out the the GeForce uh, GM330. Oh, sorry, not GM, the, the GeForce 330M, okay. and um, they've slapped in an Intel HD. Right. Sorry, uh, we need to move sorry, on. Sorry, I, I want to just say no, one last thing on that other uh, 3 d -ness, ness ness Yes. Call me again when they've increased the amount of pixels that they can implant on those... Uh, oh, on those uh, on the, the uh, uh, iris display uh, thing. Uh, what yeah. do you call it? The, the thing you put in your eye for seeing? Contact lenses. Yeah. Cool. Those are cool. No. Right. Are we going to wrap it up? Uh, well, we're going to run through it quickly. Um, no, man, we just, dude, we got a lot of stuff here still, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have actually done some of the stuff. I know, done. but there's uh, like at least... Okay. Yeah, no, but okay, Cube cool, Gun, cool, I want to cool. talk about. Yeah, cool. Cube cool. Gun. That was What's cool. That? Didn't we look at it? Yeah. It's basically a big puzzle. Cool. It was With a little gun inside. Yeah. And, and I wow. think we'll, we'll be it becomes awesome to sneak gun. it into <laughs> Osha Plane. I would just think, I just think it's, it would be really cool to actually build one yeah. i mean that that's a lot of work yeah. yes. really that's some precision machining and stuff that's that's like a lack of well, project you said it took yeah. him about a year yeah i mean a year and i, I think and that's a professional guy must be exactly i mean now. that's a if you see it watch yeah. the video yeah it's, it's some really cool. really yeah. good engineering there and it's mm. it's it's quite cool I, it's I quite geeky it i like it yeah. um the other thing i want to talk is facebook's new commenting system We've, oh, you have implemented i've implemented on altistar.tv so you can go leave us a comment there with your Facebook profile? With your Facebook profile. So we'll know your real name. Oh. Um, dun, dun, dun. No RC handles. It's interesting. I can see why. And for sharing links so people can see what mm. you've said and tracking it back. All the rest of it's, it's pretty cool. You know what cool, I want Facebook I to bring? Is a, is a graph. Uh, like your, not, your, not, not to show your social graph, but to, to plot how the, you've, your usage of uh, Facebook over the years. Because I, I'm telling you, my, my Facebook usage has gone um, up and up and up. Yeah. And now over the last, say, year, it's died right yeah. off. Like no, right, right I mean, off. Like maybe logging in to, to consume content. Yes. But but creation of content on Facebook, I almost don't do anymore. I, I hardly even okay, change man. my status. I basically, I log in in the mornings. And during the day, if I see an interesting link, I share it to Facebook from yeah. the oh, app. Look, and I post yeah. all, all our shows, I post onto yeah. it. Of course, but uh, th th that's for a different purpose. To yeah. me. Think about you uh, on a personal note. Mm. Like I, I definitely use Facebook very a lot less than I used to. Before we started this show. I had basically closed my Facebook account for about four months, five months. Oh, is it? As in, I got to the point where it was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just close it. Another place to check in the morning. But mind you, this year, you know, um, uh, I actually met someone the other night and I said, okay, well, instead of phone numbers, what's your Facebook profile? Okay. Uh, yeah, and okay, not as your friend, as your friend. Okay, brilliant. I don't do yeah. that with Facebook, I do that with Twitter. Yeah, but you know, they don't, yeah, most yeah. Some people, I've got profiles on, what are they yeah. called? 
frame filters or whatever it is in, oh, yeah. in Facebook. What yeah. is it called? Like I groups. Sorry, yeah, groups. groups yeah. And I've got a group for like people that you meet on like yes. uh, things like that. They get stuck in that group. They can't see squat. Basically, no. all they can see is my name and a little photo of me no. and, my co- my, and my email address. Email address. That's it. No, that's it. Yeah. If they you want to see any of my get photos. Me on Facebook. Well, that's, well, that's that's so Facebook has basically implemented what Diaspora was going to be famous yeah. for. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Except yeah. for the distributed stuff. Yes, you still yeah, don't own uh, your content. You still yeah, don't control sure. your content. No, sure. mm-hmm. That's but they the apparently are working about Im- uh, with with Impex. So they apparently do are doing some export stuff. Yeah, but you, uh, the, the whole point yeah, of Diaspora was service. you could run your own node. So you mm. actually physically yeah. controlled no, no, your uh, own uh, content. You don't want your content anymore. You unplug it off the network, and it's gone. Diaspora is that how Diaspora is that how you pronounce Diaspora? I think everybody pronounces it differently. Talking about, I'm on diaper. I'm like, yeah, diaper. <laughs> I'm diaper. <laughs> Talking about diaspora, <laughs> I know, I see COZA's just uh, thrown out my um, my URL. Oh, is it? Yeah, because I never renewed it or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, then the other thing was the food printer. This was very cool. Yes. This oh, was yeah. cool. This You're was right. very cool. And yeah. I was hearing uh, on one of the... It's a Freakonomics podcast. I was uh-huh. talking about this and why this is so cool. Effectively, this is like a 3D printer, so you've got all your food stuff, mm. and it puts a layer by layer piece of food and yeah. then cooks it. Yeah. And it can basically, the, the eventual one well, is... Well, it doesn't do, do the cooking. You still no, have to do the cooking. No, eventually what they yes. want to do is that they'll have a laser. So as they put that drop, they'll cook it immediately. Yes. Yeah. So you can actually get that food perfectly cooked. Yeah. yeah. Down, you know, like every single like drop yeah. is perfectly cooked. And then also what they say is you can also, you can have this program with your, let's say your medicine, you've got a heart condition, that it oh, cooks it yeah. into your food. Yeah. So you program in, I want a hamburger. It will go, okay, also you need mm. less salt, r- reduce your salt content. And the food that you get is actually targeted. I don't know to if I you. want that processed food. <laughs> it's yeah, I, I, I think it'll taste the same. It'll be perfectly healthy. It'll be, I mean, it'll be, you but can ha- eat how it. How are you going to put me this? Is, I like cooking and I like yeah. the whole idea yeah. of the creation it, of it. That's the, the, the thing, yeah. You know, but, but for someone else, it is, it, I mean, I have a lot of bachelor friends. I mean, they hate cooking and they rather, they mm. do takeaways a lot. Yeah. I do enjoy cooking and I would imagine this would be part of it. So yes, some days you would cook. It would be something And other days, I mean, you could create this this incredible... Yeah, because you could download a recipe. Yes. Way, yeah. way, way, yeah. way ahead of yourselves yeah, hey? Yeah, very, because very this far ahead of you. Because this was a prototype and it had yeah. two types. Uh, it had scallops, it was minced scallops yeah. and cheese. Yes, that yeah. was <laughs> it. I, I know that this can't do this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, okay. minced. minced. You know what I mean? And minced. Cheese. But at least we can we get okay. the, the raw ingredients, you put that there in and you're like, okay, right. And you can yeah, well, have Corey, a recipe. The problem is, what, yeah. are you, what are you going to use as raw ingredients then? What? Uh, amino acids. A whole, po- a whole tank full yeah, and then you regrow them yourselves into the correct combinations to create the cells, to create the flavor. Because, that's, I mean, that's, that's, can I you can grow fast Roy enough? I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, st- st- I think you'd be this. amazed what the guys can actually do at the end of the day with pure proteins and all the rest no, of no, it. No, no, fair enough. And add, like, um, flavorings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you'll have your, ba- you, you know, it's not uh, that many consistencies you want. You need some no. carbohydrates, some but protein. Tim, but this, what Tim, I'm this saying, is what I'm saying what I'm is saying processed. Is the, the best printers at the moment mm. are only do like two materials. Yeah. I know because it's prototypes, but I do. No, see no, the industrial printers. It'll you be do your support material and you do this, your but material. This, this is this is yeah. a step. I mean, it is. What you're you're going to end up with the Star Trek things where you're like, yeah, oh, okay. the, the printing the printing press was not a laser jet. Oh, yes. No, of course, no, of what? course. But you still oh, look at the laser. Ancient's are way ahead of laser jets. <laughs> <laughs> what Stuart's saying, just, what is, what saying, that saying you is that the complexity. No, no, for, sure, for sure, now. Sure. Look at your laser print, uh, your inkjet printer, right? You could use inkjet technology to do this, but you've mm. only got four colors. You've got four ingredients. Yeah, yeah. Could you oh. put the entire repertoire yeah. of a French chef's cuisine, yeah. cuisine yeah. into four ingredients? And how yeah, but if, if you start looking at the industrial ones, they, they go up with far more inks. But it, Tim, where do you... Okay, but, but, but how fast does this, this food printer print? I mean, slow. Uh, yes, yeah. slow. But it, it's, it's prototype it's slow. Remember, but it's, 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 it's a prototype of two or four like ingredients. But, but at what I'm one saying stage is, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is four ingredients is fine. If you could get it to 16 ingredients, mm. that's technically yes. feasible. What happens if you need a thousand ingredients? You're gonna need plus a thousand ingredients. To well, work. that's so that's gonna be you part do, of the research. What do you do with the storage? How do you store a thousand mm. ingredients? What happens if you but need? Also, with this, it must probably won't be a home thing. Maybe no, Tim. Time. You need to. This thing needs to go down to lower level than this. Oh, come on, you yeah. Need to start messing. Yeah. You don't need to have. If I like, like what you're thinking. I mean, amino acids and you, you had about things. No, no, this nothing would be built or done. No, I mean, what I'm saying is to make it work. To make it work, you don't need to go. 
you can't have an individual flavor. No. You mm. need to go lower than the yeah, flavors. With, you need to yeah. go building blocks yeah, of the flavors. Which is, which you, you, you have buy a tank a of hydrogen and some carbon, <laughs> and you mix those together <laughs> well, to make with a, with a, a fusion why not make generator. <laughs> why don't you? Why don't you just genetically oh, design some kind of organic soup, and you buy the soup, and you just. Plonk that in and Do you know what adventures you'll have? Is you, you'll have Grow your little humans. No, <laughs> you're, 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 you'll actually have your genetic code and you'll say, okay, program this this amoeba and it must like produce this that's food. That's where you want to go. You see, that's what he's talking about, was going down to that for. level. Yeah. You but you know what? That. I like having taking a little break from my programming at night or whatever to take a take a drive down to McDonald's and pick up my burger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm quite happy. <laughs> now it's just going to be printed next to me, so I'm just going to keep working, pick it up, and carry on. But, uh, but, cool. the, but you know, the, I think that you'll probably find there's a lot of people carrying on about you know it's going to be unsafe and everything, and it's the same with GM food. It's going to be perfectly safe, <sighs> and it's going to be it's going to be actually healthier. It's It'd be, I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, and I mean, environmentally mm. friendly. I mean, you know, get rid of the transport costs and all that other nonsense yeah. that goes no. with it. But put it this way, I I think printed electronics. It's going to come way, way, oh, way. Yes. Oh, no, 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 I think this is, this is oh, no, So you'll right, be able sure. to print yourself a no. cell phone before you'll be able to print yourself a burger. And <laughs> way, <laughs> even way better 3D printers are yes. going to come, yeah. just for building oh, normal no. solid pieces of plastic are going to come way no. before this. We'll, we'll see though, that because uh, like with, with super be analytic printer. stuff, when we're talking about the displays, the displays are, I mean, printing electronics is one thing, but, but the, the technology that goes into making like a super AMOLED display. Yeah, but that's, that's, it's the same thing as there's a whole argument about uh, chip making chips in your home. Um, and the problem is that you the, need the, a deep fry and some the potatoes. Lithography pros, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing it, Stu. <laughs> I know Sorry. what's missing out of my life. <laughs> 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 anyway, silicon chips. You're happy now. Crunchy. <laughs> anyway, the problem comes in is it's not just the chemicals, processes to, you know, uh, to actually to wash the, the solvents away and things like that, yeah. which are incredibly toxic and incredibly expensive. But it's the lithography processes to actually make the components that small. Mm, is, mm. is just impossible to do on a home scale. Yeah, yeah, so for now. For now, well, yep. no, it will never be home scale. Okay, Come cool. Nanobots. There we go. <laughs> yeah. It has to go to that kind of technology. No. You're never going to have a printer that will be able to do for that. For now, no. You'll have to go. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, the printing technology will never go that way. Okay, you cool. Grow them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Using nanotechnology, well, yeah, uh, some nanotechnology process. It will be a process. nano goo. That's your. 3D printer. I don't want to eat Nana Goo. Uh, and then, and then no, everybody, no, it doesn't away. sound then appetizing. We will be able topic, yeah. to copy a cell phone. Cool. And it will be uh, sweet. Uh, all right. Uh, we're going to end the show there. we over time. Um, cool. Well, Th thank you, everyone. Uh, Corey, thanks for joining us. Thanks, you guys. Thanks so for having uh, me. This has been great fun. Corey Tursix. Corey 206, yeah, at Corey 206. And you're on busy Twitter. on Twitter. You're Apparently I am. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be interesting. Um, <laughs> speaking about that, our guest for next week is Talana. She's also quite, cool. I'm sure you know Talana. Yeah. Also quite big on Twitter and the one matchstick person, upgrading basically from matchstick to some offices. Yeah. But she can give us the whole story next week. Uh, we have Jan, thank you very much. Uh, my broadband, Barry and Good to be Stuart, back. And myself, Tim Hawk. <laughs> thank Cheers, you, everyone. Guys. Good thank show. You. Thanks. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers, right, bye.